Jesus' brothers and sisters? Question mark? Joey Fulgione, also on the web at clevercatholic.com. By a basic reading of the Gospels, it seems Jesus had at least six siblings. Is he not the carpenter, the son of Mary, and the brother of James and Joses and Judas and Simon? Are not his sisters here with us? Mark 6.3 Where was this brood when the firstborn was lost at twelve? Luke 2.41 The six siblings would on average be ten, eight, six, four, and two years old with a newborn. No mention is made of them in the finding in the temple. And where were they when Jesus gave Mary to John at the cross? John 19.26 Matthew starts the sibling list that Jesus is the brother of James, Joseph, Simon, and Judas. Are not his sisters all with us? Matthew 13.55 How can we reconcile these readings with the church's belief in the perpetual virginity of Mary? The Eastern churches believe incorrectly that these are the previously widowed St. Joseph's kids. The Catholic New American Bible explains that in Semitic usage, the terms brother, sister are applied not only to children of the same parents, but to nephews, nieces, cousins, half-brothers, and half-sisters. Remember, Jesus spoke Aramaic. The Gospels are in Greek. Brother and sister mean different things in translation. By using all four Gospels, we can prove these relatives are cousins. So get out your New Testament. At the cross, Mark has Mary Magdalene, Mary, the mother of the younger James and Joses, and Salome. Matthew writes, that's in Mark 1540, Matthew writes, Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James and Joseph, and the mother of the sons of Zebedee, Matthew 2756. And John says at the cross, the women were his mother and his mother's sister Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdala, John 19.25. So the Virgin's Mary's, so the Virgin Mary's sister is also named Mary. Boxer George Foreman is the only one I know of who named all five of his sons George. Thus, in Semitic fashion, the Virgin Mary's sister is her sister-in-law, Mary, not a sibling. Hence, this sister-in-law, Mary, is the mother of James and Joses, James and Joseph, and also the wife of Clopas. This Mary, Jesus' aunt, is an important witness to the resurrection. Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of Joses, watched where he was laid, Mark 15, 47. But Mary Magdalene and the other Mary remained sitting there, facing the tomb, Matthew 27, 61. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, and Salome bought spices so that they might go and anoint him, Mark 16:1. After the Sabbath, as the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to see the tomb, Matthew 28, 1. Even more interesting, from John above, is his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas. Luke's resurrection appearance on the road to Emmaus, Luke 24, 18, names one of the two walkers as Cleopas, who says, some women from our group astounded us. They were at the tomb early in the morning and did not find his body. They came back and reported that they had indeed seen a vision of angels who announced that he was alive. Luke 24:22. Jesus' Aunt Mary and Uncle Cleopas Clopas were the ones that Jesus appeared to on the road to Emmaus. Since the other Mary is the Virgin Mary's sister-in-law, as both Marys aren't sisters, Cleopas is St. Joseph's brother. We used all four Gospels, but give a plausible explanation that Jesus, the Son of God, was an only child.